What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another Swift tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be learning how to create a to-do list app. This video is full end to end from scratch of how to create basically this app you see here. And we can enter in new entries like get food. And we can select a date because God knows I'm hungry and I need food. And we can save it, of course, and it pops up in our list. Now we can also select any of our entries and delete it by simply tapping this trash icon. And you can see it goes away from our list. And uh, of course, if we enter in something and save it and then close our app and come back to it, uh, it saves it on board within a database like a normal app should. So yeah, that's basically what we're going to be learning how to do. Several folks have asked about the deletion functionality as I did an earlier to-do list video, so that'll be included. Um, that said, make sure you smash that like button down below, subscribe if you're new, get Xcode ready, and let's get right into it. So we're going to get started by creating a new Xcode project. We're going to stick with a single view application, and let's call this project my to-do list. Save it on our desktop, and get into it. So before we actually start writing some code, we're going to bring in Realm, which is a database through CocoaPods, and we're going to be using Realm to basically save our to-do list entries, delete, update, and all that cool stuff. So to do so, we're going to open up Terminal, and we're going to CD into our project. And if you're not familiar with CocoaPods, I've got a separate video on it, but feel free to follow along here. Uh, just make sure you've got CocoaPods installed, otherwise when you do a pod init, it'll give you an error. So initialize CocoaPods, and then we can open our pod file. And in here, we want to bring in pod realm swift. Make sure that P is lowercase, otherwise you'll see an error. Close the text editor, hit command K to clear the entry, and do a pod install. You'll see a bunch of stuff here on my screen. You might not see it. I've got some weird settings. Um, but what you should get is these green messages saying that Realm Swift was installed in the version. So now we can actually click on Xcode and do a command W because we want to open up the workspace now. So clear the terminal with command K. And now we can open up my to-do list.xc workspace. And the workspace includes our uh, pod that was installed, which in this case is Realm, and let's expand Xcode. Let's expand this folder up here that we're going to be working in and go to our view controller. So before we start actually building the core parts of the app, what I like to do is let's list it out, the things we want to do. So we want a couple things. We first want a screen to show list of current uh, to-do list items. We want a screen to enter, um, to enter new to-do list items. And then we also want a screen where we can view what we entered. That'll have maybe some action buttons to delete the entry. So we want a screen to show previously entered to-do list item. So these are the three core screens that we want. And with each to-do list item, we want to hold uh, the item itself and maybe like a due date of when we want this item to be completed by. So we're going to hold a date as well. So let's start knocking these out one by one. So we're going to first start with the screen that is responsible for actually showing the list of entries. And that'll be this default view controller that Xcode has given us. And we're going to use a table view to show that list. So let's come in here and create an IB outlet for a table. And it'll be a table view like so. We also want the UI table view delegate and UI table view data source. We're going to create a array which is private var called data, and it'll hold to do list item. And we haven't created this yet, so let's actually create this. Now this to do list item will be an item that we can save in our database. And of course, the reasoning is we want to be able to close the app and come back to it and see our items. 
So to use the database, we're going to do an M import of Realm Swift. And if you don't see it coming up in the drop down like we didn't see here, um, you can actually select a simulator of your choosing. Hit Command B to build the project. And hopefully Xcode doesn't take too long. Um, but you'll see your error goes away. And actually, let's just uh, build and make sure that after our CocoaPod installed, we don't have any errors. So Xcode is taking its time. Hopefully, we'll finish up soon. Uh, while, while it's doing this, basically, we're going to implement the data source functions for the table here. And then we'll hook some stuff up in our storyboard for the other two screens that we will be designing for entering and showing a previous uh, item. So give it a couple seconds. Looks like our error came back, which should go away. So cool. So that error went away. And now we have errors because we don't conform to the delegate and data source. And we also have not defined this thing yet. So let's define this thing, which is our to-do list uh, item. And this is going to be a class, and I'll just throw it up here. And it's going to inherit from an object. An object is something that uh, Realm provides to help us save things to the database. So in here, we want to create two things. The first thing is going to be item, which will be a string. And both of these things need to be marked uh, at objective C and dynamic. Um, based on how Realm is built under the hood. Um, so let's make this date, and we'll make this date. And by creating a default date, it automatically assigns it um, to today, as in the date you're saving this new item. So now this error went away, and we need to add some table view functions. So the error up here goes away, uh, which is basically yelling at us because we don't conform to the data source protocol. And let's come down here. Let's just mark our table comments. We want a number of rows, and a number of rows for the table, we want to return the number of things in the data array. And we want cell for row at index path. And we basically want to create and return a cell. That's going to show the thing in the array at that position. So we're going to say let cell equals table view. DQ the cell with an identifier. So we're going to use cell for index path dot row. Let's return the cell. And let's also assign the text label uh, text for the cell to the item in data, the data array at that position dot, what did we call it? Dot item. So this item actually comes from the objects we created up here, which is uh, a string. So the text is going to be whatever our to-do list item is. The next thing we want to do before we jump to our storyboard to connect this IB outlet is we're going to say table.delegate is self and table.datasource is self. And we also need to register this cell identifier. Now, you can do this in code, or you can do this through a custom cell, but we're going to do this in code because it's simpler. So we're going to say table.register UI table view cell dot self for this identifier. And if you try to DQ a cell without registering its identifier, um, your app will crash because you're basically asking the table to show a cell with this ID, but it has no idea what it is. So we're simply saying up here that this ID maps to a base UI table view cell. And let's see, we're also going to need this function. Did select table view, did select row at index path. And we want to deselect it with an animation. And basically in here, we want to open uh, the screen where we can see item info and delete. So with that all said, let's go to our storyboard. So you can click it over here or hit Command Shift O to get the search uh, menu. Um, I'm pretty used to using the search menu because of working in larger projects with thousands of files, it becomes pretty hard to find the file here. But anyways, 
let's uh, start by embedding this controller in a navigation controller. So select the controller up here, go to editor, and we want embed in navigation controller. So if you're not familiar with navigation controllers, it gives you the bar, whoops, gives you the bar at the top of the controller and you can basically push controllers and slide them forward and backwards that we'll see in just a second. Let's come up here and find a UI table view, drag it onto our controller, right click on this thing and drag from our table outlet to our table view. Let's also select the table view, come down here and we want to add some constraints. So we want this to be taking up the entirety of the screen. So we'll do zero all around. And now we should be able to hit Command R to build and run. And we'll see an empty app with an empty table because we don't have any entries. Um, but we should be building and getting our app here. So let's actually now set a title up here. We're going to call it to-do list. And let's select the nav bar up here and check this box It prefers large. And we'll make this title larger, looks a little nicer. Let's also bring in a bar button item into our navigation bar. And this is gonna be like a plus button. And of course we'll use this button to show the screen to enter in new uh, to-do list items. So let's say its type is add. And we actually want to go back to our view controller and add an IB action that gets called when the user taps that um, button. So IB action did tap add button. And let's go hook up this function in our storyboard. So we can actually swipe between things like that. Um, so if you're on a trackpad, you can swipe between the code and the storyboard. So again, let's right click on this and drag from our action, which pops up here now, to our button, like so. And we also wanna bring in two more view controllers, which will represent our two other screens that we mentioned. So one for uh, editing and like deletion actions, and one for uh, actually creating a new, creating a new uh, entry. So let's bring in two like that. Now we also want to create two files which are going to house the code for these new controllers. So right click on that, new file, Coco touch class, and we want two subclasses of UI view controller. The first one is going to be, um, let's see, entry view controller, and you're free to call it whatever you want. I'm just trying to call it something that makes sense. So entry view controller will control the entry of the new items so let's get rid of all this commented code and let's make one more and we'll call this one um, view view controller maybe that isn't the best name but hopefully um, you all can understand what that means so now that we have these two controllers let's start writing the code for each of them um, and we'll naturally start with the new entry controller because we need to enter a to-do list item before we can actually view it. So to enter basically an item, um, we need a couple things. We first need a outlet for a text field. And this is of course where we're going to enter in the uh, contents of the item itself. And we want another IB outlet for a date picker. It's a UI date picker that apparently I can't spell today. And of course the date picker is going to allow us to pick a date for our item. So, okay, what else do we want to do? Um, we also want an IB action for when the person presses a save button. We want to implement this in a second. When this screen pops up, we want to pop up the keyboard on the uh, field by default, which is become first responder. We want to set the delegate for the text field because when the user taps on the return button for the field, we want to get rid of the keyboard. 
So let's come up here and conform to the UI text field delegate. And we want to implement the should return text field function. And in here we can say text field resign first responder and return true. This resign first responder will get rid of the keyboard. So we won't have that issue. And let's see, what more do we want to do before we go and hook this up on the storyboard? So once the user taps the save button, we actually want to create a new entry in our database in Realm. And the entry is that uh, to-do list item that we created earlier. But we want a reference to the database, which is Realm. And to create it, we're going to do this. Whoops, we want just Realm. And we also want a completion handler. So once the operation is done of saving the new entry, we can call this completion block. So the other controller that shows the list of our entries can know that a new entry was added and it knows that it needs to refresh itself. So let's actually go and design this user interface in the storyboard. So the first thing we need to do here is first set the class for this controller. So select it, hit this icon, and we called it entry view controller. We also want to set a storyboard ID so we can create this controller, rather reference it through code. So I'll just call it enter. Um, and that's case sensitive, so keep that in mind. We also want, let's see, what more do we want? We also want our UI text field of course, to enter in the item. Let's drag that in there. Let's select some constraints for it. So we're gonna say 10, 20, 20, and we will make the height 52, like so. And it looks a little high, but I think that'll make do for now. Let's also find a UI date picker. Drag this on in. And let's set its constraints as well. And let's see, we want this to be, I don't know, 50, 0, 0, and 0. Should take up a good majority of the screen like so. Let's connect our outlets from the field to the field and the date picker to the date picker. And let's see, let's now go to our first view controller and have this controller to enter a new item be presented when we press the plus button. So we've gone through quite a bit of code without running the app, so bear with me one more second and we'll run this app in uh, a minute. So we're gonna say guard let bc equals storyboard instantiate with identifier and we're gonna put in the identifier we gave it called enter and this should be as an entry view controller else we are going to return then we can say vc.title new item vc.navigation item dot large title display mode is never now this is all just stylistic stuff but i have a habit of doing it so it's not the most important but then we can use the navigation controller to push a new view controller which is vc onto the stack with an animation so let's actually have me shut up and hit command R to build and run and see what happens when we hit this plus button up here. So we hit this and we notice that we get to the screen, we can hit back. So cool, it looks like we're in business to a certain degree. Now what we notice is we don't have a save button here and we want to add one. Um, and then of course, when we hit enter on this field, notice the keyboard also goes away. We can swipe through this date picker, but let's actually add a save button and write the code to enter this new to-do to list item. Um, before we go to the entry view controller, something we didn't assign here is the completion handler thing we added. So we're going to say completion handler uh, equals this block and we'll do weak self in and we want to basically say self dot refresh. And let's create this refresh function here. 
And in this function, as the name implies, we're going to get all of our items from the database and we're going to reload our table view. And to get all of the items in our database, we can simply do as follows. We can say uh, let items equals realm. And this is a variable we defined above already, I think. Or maybe not, maybe I forgot to. So we need to actually define an item up here called realm. And it'll be a try of realm, like so. And I thought we had a data up here, which we do, it looks like. And for this, instead of creating this empty array, what we can do is we can actually, in view did load, um, update it to equal realm objects. We want to do list item. And this will basically return all the to-do list items. But the reason that it's giving us an error is because realm returns a weird type. It returns a result type rather than an array type. So we can do map dollar zero like so, and our error should go away. And actually we can copy this code and put it in here. Basically we're gonna update our data variable to be whatever all the elements in Realm are now post refresh. And then we can say table reload data. Um, now let's actually go to the entry controller and enter or write, in, write the code to basically uh, enter a to-do list item. And then we'll look at how we can actually create them. Uh, on the simulator. So when the person taps his save button, we want to check if there's text in the actual um, field, and we also want to get the date out of the date picker. The first thing we should do is probably add a save button, and we actually aren't going to use this IB action anymore. Make that a at objective C because we're going to create this button programmatically. So we're going to say navigation item dot write bar button item equals UI bar button item with a title and the title will be save style will be done target itself and selector is did tap save. And this is the function we created down here. Now in here, what we're going to say is we're going to say if let field dot text and I think I called it field up here let's call it we call it the text field it looks like so let's say if let text field dot text text equals text field dot text and text is not empty we can continue otherwise we want to basically let's just print out for now add something and we also want to get the date from the date picker. So we can say let date equals date picker dot date. When the view loads, we want to set the date picker to be today by default. So we're going to say set date animated true. And like I mentioned, if you just create a date object, this actually defaults to today, um, as in whatever day you're using the app, of course. And let's see, now in here, we can actually begin to create one of these objects as to-do list item and saving it to realm. So to create the item and save it is super easy. We can first say realm.begin write. And we're gonna say try realm.commit write. And in between here, we can say new item equals to-do list item. And new item dot date equals date. New item dot item equals our text. And what else? Let's see. We need to actually add it to Realm. So we want to add this new item. And I believe this add call needs a try. Otherwise, we'll see an error here. Maybe I'm mistaken. Looks like we don't need a try. And actually, that's about it. That's how you save something to Realm. And after we've committed it to the database, we can call this completion handler and make sure you put a question mark here, because if you recall, the completion handler is optional. So if the controller that created it didn't supply one, we don't want to crash. So we're going to say if it's basically there, uh, call the handler. 
And I believe that is all we need to do. So let's hit Command R and see if we can enter into do list items. So of course, when we first start, we don't have anything here. So let's hit this plus button. Um, life is great. Hit enter. Let's select a date. And if we hit save, it looks like nothing is happening. But actually, what we forgot to do is dismiss this controller. So if we actually hit Command R one more time, you'll see some to-do list items because we tapped save three times. But I forgot to dismiss the controller. So I'm going to actually delete this app on the simulator. And we're going to install it again in just a second. But before we do, after we call this completion handler, we're going to say navigation controller, pop to root view controller, animated true. So hit command R one more time. We're going to install and we're going to see it's empty because we don't have any items. Let's type in an item to get food. Food is important. Let's select our date and hit save. And you can see we got our new entry here and we dismissed that screen as well. Now when we select it, nothing happens. Um, we get this animation of deselection, but we want to be able to go see information about this item as well as delete it. So let's actually work on that now. So this controller was created to basically view an item's information as well as delete it. So we're going to implement this and then hook it up in the storyboard. And there's not too much code in here either. So we're going to import Realm Swift. We're going to have a public var called item, which will be a to-do list item that we're viewing currently. And what we'll also say is we're going to have a public uh, var deletion handler. And we're going to call this once uh, the item has been deleted, similar to when we add a new item, we want to refresh the list because it no longer exists. And we, of course, want two IB outlets to show the item text as well as the date that it's due. So the first one is going to be item label. This will be a UI label. And we'll do date label like so. We also want a static date formatter. And this is basically capable, as the name implies, of taking our date object and formatting it into a string. And the reason we want it to be static is because date formatters are expensive to create in memory. And we only want to create it one time to reduce the amount of memory our application uses. And we can also set things on here like date style is medium. And of course, in view to load, we want to assign the item label dot text is our item dot item. Maybe could have named that better. And we want to assign the date label dot text to um, date formatter. And we want this date formatter dot string from date and this will be item dot date like so and let's see what else do we want we also want a way to delete the um, item itself and to do that we're going to add a, another navigation item top right button and that'll be a UI bar button item and I clearly can't spell today so this bar button item and I think there's a delete in here or a trash. Maybe we want the trash icon self and the action will be a selector did tap delete. Let's create this did tap did tap delete function like so. And in here, we're simply going to say guard let item equals self dot item which unwraps the item property on this controller and then we're going to delete it in our database so we're going to say realm we should define a realm before we try to use it like i often forget to do like so and then now we can say realm 
begin. We want to commit it. And in the middle here, we can simply say realm dot delete item. And let's actually call this my item so we can name things a little differently. And after it's deleted, we can simply um, call the deletion uh, handler. And again, don't forget that uh, question mark because it's optional. And then like we forgot to do before, we want to pop to the um, root controller. Basically dismiss this view controller animated true. So let's go hook this up on our storyboard and we should be in business. So again, let's go to the main.storyboard. And for this controller, we're going to type in the class, which I called view, view controller. Let's give it a storyboard ID of view. And let's bring on in a UI label, like so. And let's assign some constraints. We'll do 20, 20, 20. And let's call this, let's, I don't know, let's do 70. And let's grab another label. Let's also give it some constraints. Whoops, we want this. We're going to do 10, 20, 20. And we'll do 70 as well here. Let's hook up our uh, ID outlets from our date label to the second label and item label to the first one. And we should be good to go. So let's go to the view controller, our uh, initial class. And in here, in the did select row, we simply want to first get the item and data at that position. And the screen um, where we see our list of items. And we can say guard let VC equals storyboard instantiate a view controller with the ID of view as our view view controller else we want to return we're going to say vc dot item equals item vc dot deletion handler equals basically what we got down below weak self in and we want to call refresh vc dot navigation item um, large title display mode is never VC dot title will make this item dot title or sorry item dot item maybe my naming choices could have been slightly better and lastly of course we'll say navigation controller push VC animated true so let's hit command R to build and run and see if I broke this or not so we hit this and we get this controller opened up we got the title up here the item and the date and if we hit delete notice it goes away and it's also not in our list anymore so let's add in a couple of items let's say go running we'll say tomorrow save this we also want to get more food pick some random date and we can select it of course delete it and yeah that's basically a very simple to-do list. Now, of course, there's a ton of things. There's a ton of things you can do here with uh, visuals, styling, making it look nicer, swipe to delete, so on and so forth. Um, other than that, that's about it. I guess I'll wrap up the video here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Let's get rid of my antivirus pop-up. Um, I'll make this code available on GitHub. Uh, take a look at the description for the link. Uh, make sure you hit that like button if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.